argued um, that the key to recovery um, is really to establish New York as a true leader globally in public health. And that means, um, it means hygiene. So, you know, we've got a lot of unemployed people. We ought to hire thousands of them and they ought to very visibly be wiping down the subways now. And then there's the technology for like things like tracing and things where, you know, if there is a problem, we actually know how to respond to it more. That is the fundamental issue. That requires government working with the private sector, but government to establish that foundation for recovery. And um, that I can't emphasize enough is critical. The most important thing from my perspective is confidence, right? People need to feel safe. And so then the question, every, you have to answer every question in that context. So what is it gonna take for someone to feel safe to go back to work? So that's the first thing. So that's the physical space. What does work look like? What, you know, what, what, what is the physical environment that you come to when you get to your office? You know, is there a temperature scan? Are people wearing masks? Is there separation within the spaces? You know, and then I think after people feel comfortable getting to their office, being in their office, then they're gonna want to go the next step, right? So I think retail and restaurants are gonna be behind that. I don't think you flip a switch and this kind of, everyone just goes out to, to restaurants and, and sporting events. This is gonna be gradual. Um, and I think it's gonna be gradual until there's some type of therapeutics that make you feel, at least if you get sick, it's not, it, it's not a, a, you know, a game of, am I gonna live or die? I think the, the, the second issue that is important is clear, which is related, is clarity from government. Um, people need to feel confident um, and they need to feel confident, but they also, employers and others need to feel insulated from liability as well. What they don't wanna do is take risks and the only entity that can ever set a standard that people can rely on to insulate themselves from liability is going to be government essentially saying, this is what we deem to be an acceptable risk. So I said, government is gonna to have to play a really major role in establishing the rules as we go forward. Look, I, I still think New York is sort of the greatest model of a city that exists. That doesn't mean that we don't have to rethink the model for urban development going forward. And I think cities that actually can deliver on the promise of what I'd call inclusive growth, that recognize we gotta grow to be successful, that if you're not prosperous, you can't be progressive, but at the same time, allocate in different ways, maybe more fair ways, the benefit of that growth so that the promise of opportunity extends to way more people, that's gonna be critical. And there are no great examples of that, particularly of successful cities. New York's gonna to have to be a leader in that, in my view. I mean, it's a, there's a great saying that says, you know, when, when things are bad, people can never think how they're gonna get better again. When things are good, they can't think how they're ever gonna get bad. And I just, I think that really speaks to it, is, is people forget. People want to be together. There is resilience. I'm a big believer that at the end of the day, we will return to something close to the normal.